here I'm at this gigantic abandoned bakery. So echoey. This place is absolutely massive. I was here the previous night exploring it, back during the day to get the video. It's absolutely massive, so probably just heaps and heaps of different clips. Otherwise, it's just going to go forever trying to find where I'm going. It's probably been abandoned for a few years, I think, and all the taggers have really gotten to it already. I have no idea where to go or start from, so I'm just going to go completely random. The storage room bit. Again, more copper wiring. Absolutely everywhere. Imagine burning this gigantic motor out. Got the fan. Looks like the angry office man had a field day here. Coffee maker. Fancy. Toilets used, of course, but not destroyed. And I would destroy them all, but too many residential areas nearby and it'd be too loud, unfortunately. LG Nortel. This thing's fancy. Huge circuit boards, all this copper wiring. Fancy. Looks like a wood grain server rack. Looks cool. Must have been a band for a while if this is the main entrance. Completely overgrown. But I do remember up to at least a few years ago, it was still in use. I guess everything just outsources now. Kind of anything local. Seems like they've just taken all the electrical stuff, most of it at least. There's still some office phones, but they're all destroyed. No remnants of computers or anything. There's one of the office phones. Heaps of wiring. They've left all the documents here as well. It's kind of weird that they wouldn't at least take that. I guess it's easier to just dump everything and leave it. Ooh, heavy door. Where I just was. It's like a maze here. I can't figure out where I'm going. It's like the back rooms. Oh, shame all the vehicles are gone and all the keys. Go down there after. I think there's a few more sections of this office area to check out. And I apologize if the lighting's not perfect. It's kind of awkward to hold the phone and the torch. Very uncomfortable. Eliminator. The ultimate power line filter. 
Fancy, it's the ultimate. Had some fun with that. Clip will be at the end. Exhaust fan's already broken. But the server rack with all the switches still in it, even all the manuals. You'd think this stuff would be worth something. I do like the red electrical outlets, those look cool. It's even got the test button. Another office phone. Yeah, there's asbestos everywhere. Gotta be careful. Don't wanna nudge any of it. Get the particles out. I'm gonna start a new clip here because the phone's probably gonna be ridiculous. Go down this bit first, I guess. With the full wood panel room. I'm gonna try my best to get a clip of every single room. So this video will probably be just really long and dragged out, but that's just how it is. I'll do the outside after. There's a few of these fire alarm points with the keys there. I doubt it'd still work. I wouldn't want to test it anyway, since I kind of don't want a loud alarm going off. Sunny crust. I'm sure they go on about how much they care for the planet even though they just abandon these places forever. Okay, this is interesting. Is it for servicing vehicles, I'd assume? At the bakery? Oh wow, I got the vintage ceiling fan. Looks like one I've destroyed. Helga's. Wow, Helga's got bread, whoever that is. Wouldn't want to imagine the kind of cheap, nasty bread they'd be making here. The fakest of the fake. In fact, there's a loaf of bread right there. It looks vintage. Vintage bread pack. Still here, there's another one there. Look at the prison cell. Continuing on from this bit. Got the gigantic lights. This place just echoes. Any noise. Got the gross, nasty barrels of oil and it just stinks. Pilot Super Glide. Oh, yuck. Stepped in it, it's all sticky. And I went up there last night. Doesn't really, just nothing interesting. Just ceiling access. Ugh. Really shows the kind of quality ingredients they're using if they've got that nasty oil. <laughs> yeah, someone set up a ramp here. I'd totally come here to skate, but I'm sure all the boomers would see me and yell at me and call the cops. Continuing on to here, into another one of the numerous office areas, toilets, go upstairs after. Just so this heavy smell of urinal cake, real chemical smell. And the toilets here are intact as well. 
kind of surprising considering everything else has been trashed. I'm going to privacy it out. Ladies. Oh, my finger went in front of the lens, looks sloppy now. And again, all the toilets are in perfect condition despite all the windows being smashed up. Not sure why that is. And how many people do you see actually wash their hands after using the toilet? Like no one. Fancy vintage heater, Mistral. Torches in the way. Wow, gas cylinder. Yucky asbestos. Gotta be extra careful. Oh, got the fancy shower. Yeah. Fan's still working at least. As in, it's not connected to the grid, it's just, there's a breeze. I don't know why people would come here and trash this and touch it. Ugh, who would want to touch asbestos? That's it for this office bit here, onto the next bit. Well, there's the top of that shopping cart. And yes, that house bit is abandoned too. I think it was a training center according to the map. Get a clip of the map as well. This place is absolutely massive. So difficult to find a way around. I think this is some kind of underground water tank, I'd assume. Probably haunted as in there. All these shed bits, another bit to go underneath. Oh, yes, here's the map of the place. Authorized personnel only. I guess I'm authorized to come here, even though I'm not. More wiring. Crazy how quickly stuff can just get overgrown after it's abandoned for a few years. Creepy shed. It's all warm in here. Another shed. He's trying to lock me in here. It just goes on forever. Long lengths. Wonderful spelling. Those buildings aren't part of it, those are accommodation, so it's not abandoned. I'm sure they love hearing that squeaky door all day, all night, every day. Scales everywhere here as well, but most of them are all destroyed. Electrical meter. I'll come to this bit after. This is a really cool spot. A 
finish up this outside bit. It's like a gigantic power transformer, it looks like it. Little ceramic pieces on it. Absolutely massive, be worth a fortune in scrap. Yeah, transformer main isolation. Well then, imagine burning that transformer out. Door's completely stuck so I can't get in here. Fancy. Vintage control panels. I'm just leaving all the documents here. Another vintage ceiling fan. What master? Now the master of watts. Vintage PA speaker. If it was easy to take this stuff off, I would totally take it and either sell it or smash it. Whichever one would make a better income. Fancy bread baking uniforms. So noisy. Little shower units. Fancy glass. It's pretty tough. Yep, the toilet's all still intact. I don't think I've seen a single toilet that's been destroyed. Okay. Cool, the invisible door opened. The gigantic warehouse room. It's got this cool watchtower looking thing. Kind of feels like a prison. We continue to proudly support the baking industry. Well, obviously not supporting it enough. It's gonna hold the door open as it slams. Lanson. There's just documents absolutely everywhere. Weird word. Rip Conquer TV and all these industrial exhaust fans. This looks cursed. I don't know what it is about these small contained rooms, but they just look haunted. And that's where I started. Just these look like little prison cells. Don't want to go in. I feel like the door will just slam shut and I get locked in there.
up on the roof now. Really nice view of the place, gives you a just sense of scale of how big it is. Absolutely massive. Tags here as well. I wonder if you could see that from satellite view. This gigantic AC unit's pretty cool. You can actually see inside of it and see just how big it is. You could actually walk in there. Crawl, I guess, except for the covering there. 